සුබදසනක ප්‍රිය ක්‍රීඩා ලෝලී හිතමිතුරුනි ඉතින් අද්දවසේ දී ගජ ටීවී අපි අපිට තාමත්ම සිනහසින් ගෙරෙනවා සුගත්දාස ගෘහස්ථ ක්‍රීඩා පිටියේ පිනුම් තටාකයේ සිට ජාතික ශූරතාවලියක් වයස් කාණ්ඩ ජාතික ශූරතාවලියේ අවසන් දිනය අද්දවසේ දී මේ ආකාරයට ඔබට දෙන්න තක සූදානම් මේ මොහොතේදී තරඟ ආරම්භ වී තිබෙනවා ඉතින් මාත් සමග සිටනවා ජාතික සංජිතේ පුණ කාට දරන්නෙක් නැත්නම් ජාතික සංජිතයට මේ මොහොත වෙන විට තමන්ගේ දායකත්වය දක්වන අපට අතීතයේ හිතපු ක්‍රීඩකෙක් වර්තමානයේ හිතපු කොහොමද කරුවෙක් ශ්‍යාන් ඩයස් මහත්මයා ඉතින් ශ්‍යාන් ඩයස් මහත් අවසාන දිනේ 47න ජාතික වයස්කාණ්ඩ පිහිනුම් ශුරතාවලියේ අපි දැන් මේ වෙනකොට යන ඉවෙන්ට් එක වෙන්නේ 15න් 15 බාලක මීටර් 100 ලයාර තරගයේ අවසාන හීට් එක තප්පර එකයි විනාඩි එකයි තප්පර 18ක් ඇතුළත දැනට ප්‍රථම ස්ථානයේ රැඳී සිටනවා මන්ත්‍රු අංක 4න් තරඟ වැදුණු කයිඩ් ෆරුක් සාන්ත පීතර විද්‍යාලයේ අපි හවස 3ට තමයි ෆයිනල්ස් පටන් ගන්න බලාපොරොත්තු වෙන්නේ ෆයිනල්ස් වල්දි රිසල්ට්ස් දැනට පවතින හීට් සලින් පෙනී යන්නේ අන්ඩ 1 මිනිට් 20 සෙකන්ඩ්ස් විනාඩිය තප්පර 20ක් ඇතුළත ළමයි 4 දෙනෙක් විතර තරඟ වඳින බවත් දැන්ට 15න් 15 බාලක වාර්තාව එකයි 15ක 2017 වර්ෂයේ ඔවින් ගමගේ විසින් පිහිටුව ඇති වාර්තාවක් ලයිසියම් නුගේ ගොඩ පාසලෙන් ඒ වාර්තාවට හිමිකම් කියයිද කියන එක කොළඹ සාන්ත පීතර විද්‍යාලයේ කයිට් ෆරු කොළඹ ආනන්ද විද්‍යාලයේ නෙතුල දාබරේ යන ලයාර පිහිනුම් කරුවෝ දෙදෙනා දැනට පැවති ලයාර තරඟවල මීටර් 50 ලයාර තරඟේ සහ මීටර් 200 ලයාර තරඟේ මීටර් 50 ලයාර තරඟේ නෙතුල දාබරේත් ආනන්ද විත් ආනන්ද කොලෙජ් 200 ලයාර තරඟේ කයිට් ෆරුකු දැනට ප්‍රථම ස්ථාන අරන් තිනෝ මේ මීටර් 100 ඇවිත් අද අදවසේ පවත්වන මීටර 100 අවසාන තරගය ලයාර අංශයෙන් යන හොඳ හොඳ රේස් එකක් වෙයි ඒක ඒගොල්ලෝ රෙකෝඩ් දෙන්නා රේස් කළ රෙකෝඩ් එකට යන්න පුළුවන් දැන් අවුරුදු 6කට කලින් පිටු උප රෙකෝඩ් එකක් මොකද තරගයක් වෙයි දැන් ආරම්භ වූයේ 
पहलवें पहला बालक लायार तरंगे पहलें पहले बालक लायार तरंगे समग्र नहीं या एक तो आने में मोती दी तरंगे आरंभ है साइन टू आने तो बिना क्रिकेट की न में मोती दी तरंगे वादी ना कार्य कर पेंडम करना अपने सुधानाम एम तरंगे तुलत में मोहत वैन विटा तो बिना जात के शूरता है वाके में जात के मट्ट में किरला दारण ने काउद सह वार्ता वाटिंग कम किया ने काउद किया ना उकार ना वे शान डेस साजी इस तरह का तरीन नोबट दान जनवात कराई विशेष इन में पासल दरवान में मोहत वैन विटा आपत समय के कुदे सिट मारना आये वाके दिमापियन पूंड करवाने को तो विशिट मारना उन्हें � Jam jam nanti udah fakar we bi taman ke kiri ada ketawaan kita nak makan tu. Siang api awas tawa nak tato, but mitan sita sajui katanya keran tu.
අවුරුදු 20.15 ලයාර තරගේ ජාතික වාර්තා වන්නේ විනිතුවයි තත්පර 7.2.3යි ඒ 2014 වර්ෂයේ කිරාන් ජයසිංහ ක්‍රීඩක අවිතින් පිහිටුව ඇති වාර්තාවක් As mentioned the national age group record for the under 20 category the record holder Kiran Jasinga with a time of 107.23. He is also currently the national record holder with a 104.11. He holds the breaststroke's record for the 50 meter, 100 meter, and the 200 meter breaststroke and is currently training in Australia. He holds the records for the nationals and the national age group title as well. We are just witnessing uh, the midpoint of the race of the 100 meter breaststroke. The under 20 category which will be followed by the girls under 20 100 meter breaststroke and we will go into a short break amidst all events and recommence with the 200 meter butterfly events after a tea break <laughs> Isawak ekasi panas pa balika meter siyat alayar tarangge. Emat tarangge in pasu, emat tarangge in pasu keti viva kali alla beno. In pasu meter desi alayar tarang karam bukano.
आरंभ में नियमित मीटर 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 सी लाया रह कांत बालिक वार्ता वार्ता उस लाने मेलनी फ्रेंडु मेलनी फ्रेंडु ये मिनिट वाई तत्पर विषय का ही दशम तुना ये का ये दिदास पहले वर्षे दिदास पहले वर्षे पीठों एविसिन पीठों वार्ता वाक मेलनी फ्रेंडु आवे मरिया कन्या राय में नियोजन करेंगे दिदास पहले वर्षे पीठों में वार्ता मिनिट वाई तत्पर विषय का ही दशम तुना ये का Event number 155, the girls under 20 100 meter breaststroke. Currently, we have nine competitors registered for this competition. Unfortunately, it seems like one swimmer has pulled out, where this event will be swum as a straight final. Straight final in the evening session, followed by the straight finals for the over 20 men and over 20 women 100 meter breaststroke events, which will be swum in the evening session as straight finals. As we come to a conclusion of the 100 meter breaststroke events, we will go into a short break before the commencement of the 200 meter butterfly events, which will start off from under 13 to over 20. Under 13, under 15, under 17, under 20, and over 20. The 200 meters butterfly stroke, one of the most difficult events in the spectrum of all swimming events. सब वक्त किसी जानस पाव सावस पर भी पैदती में नहीं मिलता ही एक तरह के कार्य के नोपे में मिलने सा तरंग कार्य नाटक देने के पमना में अवस्था भी वार्ता करें तो निसा इम तरंग के सावस पर भी विषय आवश्यक तरंग वशिन पावत नम उदयवार भी पैदती में नहीं मिलते लायार तरंग सियाल निमाई तें केटी निवो विवेक पशु के वसर देखें का कोविड वसंग के तें पशु वसर देखें कि इन पशु के वसरे में मत रंगाल जाओ तब आरंभ होने आरंभ हुआ टा पशु में 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 वसरे क्रीड़ का क्रीड़ा को अन्य साहबा के तें इतना मत होंदा मट्ट में किन पावती नवा नमूत रटे पावती ने एक एक सम प्रश्न निशा सामार प्रश्न निशा या अपने त्रिकुणा मले वाके प्रदेश वाले क्रीड़ा क्रीड़ा के अंदर साहबागी इत्ते अत्तर में नहीं तरम दाकुने साहबागी इत्ते अत विंदा मीटर वैडिया वैडी महिता ने मीटर वैडिया वैडियन साहबागी उना मैं और उन्हें 
ඒත් අඩුවීමක් දක්නට දක්නට ලැබෙනවා නමුත් කෙසේ හෝ මෙම තරගාවලිය මේ මේ ආකාරයෙන් පාත්වාගෙන යෑමෙන් රටේ දරුවන්ගේ පිහිනුම් ක්‍රීඩාව යම් කිසි මට්ටමකට ගෙනියෑමට සංගමය සහ සංගමය දරන වැයමක් හැටියට අපි දකිනවා ඒ වගේම මේ 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 වගේ මීට්ස් කර මේ වගේ තරගාවලිය පාත්වනකොට මීට වැඩිය කලින් හරි හරි විදියට දින දින වකවානු එහෙම නැත්නම් ස්විමින් කැලෙන්ඩර් එක හරියට දුන්නොත් ක්‍රීඩ ක්‍රීඩිකාවන් මීට වෙතදී හොඳින් මේ වගේ තරගාවලි වලට සහභාගී වෙයි කියලා අපි විශ්වාස කරනවා මොකද මේ තරගාවලි අවසන් මොහොත වෙනකන් ඇත්තටම තියෙනවද නැද්ද කියලා ගොඩක් ක්‍රීඩ ක්‍රීඩිකාවන් දැනගෙන හිටියේ නැහැ මම හිතන්නේ මාත් එක ෂහන් එක එකඟ වෙනවද තියෙ තත්ත්වෙට ඉතින් මින් ඉදිරියට මෙවැනි තරගාවලි පවත්වනකොට අපිට පුළුවන් නම් අඩුගානේ මාසයට කලින්වත් හරියට ළමයින්ට ක්‍රීඩිකාවන් ක්‍රීඩක ක්‍රීඩිකාවන් දැනුවත් කරන්න එහෙම නැත්නම් පුහුණුකරුවන් දැනුවත් කරන්න මීට වැඩි හොඳ ප්‍රතිඵල අපේ ක්‍රීඩ ක්‍රීඩ ක්‍රීඩිකාවන්ට ලබා ගන්න පුළුවන් කියලා මම විශ්වාස කරනවා very well said by coach ruan um after a lapse of 2 years we managed to have the national age groups in 2022 which was not the best of starts amidst the covid pandemic and this year we man- we have managed to have this event with a considerable number of competitors that have shown keen interest in taking part however uh due to various issues that uh, was faced by the association as the gce o level examination was postponed the first week of june where it clashed with this championship the championship had to be moved down by a week and it was more on unsurety whether this event will happen or not so this might be one of the reasons that we still haven't matched the number of competitors that show up at a sri lanka schools association competition which is close to about 2500 we might witness today about 1500 uh, athletes taking part and the numbers have grown from 2022 to 2023 but yet we can climb more this is the 47th edition of the national age groups it is an year where many new events have been introduced especially for the younger age groups and for some of the longer distance events that have been introduced to both girls and boys which were not available in the traditional basis but have now been introduced as it correlates with the asian age group structure the fina or the world aquatics the governing body of swimming governing body of aquatics for that matter have introduced such events and sh- uh, longer distance events for the junior categories in the asian age group level that has been introduced and i believe uh, this will help the younger athletes to venture into new avenues to try out new events and the scope of events is very much more uh, going down going back to the history of swimming in age groups if for what i remember i believe the young age groups only had the 50s and 100s making schools w- having to train them to get in these sprint events in the top 8 which were which can lead to burnout at an early stage but now with this long distance events coming into play the the endurance factor the training factor matters and i believe the sustainability of young athletes for future age groups where we have seen this in the past 50 to 60 heats in the younger categories moving up to under 20 we have about 5 or 6 that's almost 90% of the swimmers lost in the long term so i believe this new approach of adding the events giving swimmers an opportunity to giving swimmers the opportunity to uh, venture into the longer distance events are sustaining them giving them more opportunity to train harder and be in the game for a longer period of time osha nobaku wage mem mem taranga awaliya අපොස සාමාන්‍ය පෙළ විභාගයත් එක්ක ඒ කාලේ තිබිලා සුමානකට කල් දැම්ම නමුත් ඒ එම විභාගයේ අවසන් වූ දිනම නැවත මෙම තරගය ආරම්භුවයි මම හිතන්නේ එම තරංගකරුවන් කිසිම වාසියක් වුණා කියලා මොකද හේතුව 
अपो सामान्य पहले विभाग के आवश्यक नहीं आठ भी नहीं था नाम इन तो मेरे तरंगा वाली आ आरंभ करा तो एक महितन ने एक 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 क्रीड़ा के कुटवात में उनके उनके में हर हरे विधियाँ रखी हैं ने पुहनु विमिम पशु तरंगे डातुला तो ने पुलवांगुना के लाडू मगर ने तब साथी दुना किंग हो पास्टर की आनं ये ये आकारें सिद्धू एकल माम विश्वास करना नमूद में 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 अवस्थावे पवत्त्वे में ओं किसके के नोटे मंगहितन ने में में तरंगा आवल ये टे साहबाग में नास्ता वाला बुना के लिए वागे में वो बकी हुआ आसियानु मट्टे मट्टे में में तरंगा वाली दिनों के लिए मसंधा आपे खानिष्ट वायस्� अलूतेन इसाउ गणनावक निर्देश कर रहे थे बाबा कि इतामत होने का कारण या कारण या नमूद माता पूजगली का हैंगे ना वाह एवं एवं ही तारंग अलूतेन नतुलात के लिए मितामत कालोचिताई है बे ये कालोचिता उन आटे सामान्य अपेराटे लमाइंट एक का पार्ट में समाहरो या दिग लोको इवेंट आप इके मु मीटर देसी सामान्य लारा वगे इवेंट देपारा पीनी में हकिया वाती इन लमाई अपेराटे हरी आडुनी सा ये यम किसी काल या किया ही ये मतात्ते टे इन ये वगे समाहर इवेंट्स मामहितान्ने मूली का वाटे इन में क्या ने एक परक पबनक पीना ना पे पड़ी लमाई इन टे हमने ना खानिश्चर की डके अंटे सेलसु अनंग होंदाई के लमाई विश्वास करना वाया महिता ने ये वाके देवल इधर ये टे अपि विश अपि हितना वा अपे सांगे में ये वाके देवल के ना हितला अलुते न तरंग अतुलत करने कोटे पड़ी लमाई के ना � समाहर तारंग उदय ना टाइम्स वो था वैसे इलामाइंट ए काले लाभागन नामा रुई मुकदे देपारक इलामाइंट एकदमा दिने एकदम तारंगे साहबा के निविशेष मंग कताकरण ने मीटर देसी वागे तारंग जूनियर कैटेगरी से मतलब तंग खानिश वायसी मावल टे एक परक पमनक तारंग करण ने सेलर सुवत होंदाई के लमटे विश्वास मगे विश्� That is definitely a comment that has to be taken into consideration when, sil when working out the order of events. It is uh, a notable factor that the young swimmers who get, in, get selected for the finals haven't been able to match their preliminary time. It can be the weather, it can be their inability to do it twice. So to develop to that stage, I believe we sh the point given by coach Ruan Manavadu is very valid as, as we as, a associ as an association we have brought in new events giving the children another chance or more chances yet having them swimming a 200 butterfly a, looking at the history 200 butterfly is one of the least competed event because of the difficulty level out of the spectrum of out of the 17 events available in swimming to want to fly would be one of the hardest or some would say the hardest event and having a youngster under 13 that is 11 year old or a 12 year old having to having them swim twice as heats and finals isn't the ideal format I believe the format change should be into time finals where the best heat swims in the evening and the other swim in the morning or have it in one go either in the morning or in the evening depending on the number of heats there are few more events that can be considered that way while the association has decided to give new avenues for our swimmers it's also wise for them to look at to study the outcome of this meet outcome of the participation of this meet also the results and make a more timely more appropriate plan for Sri Lanka swimming to d to take these youngsters into the higher age groups from junior to senior category moving they will have more events to work on and giving this opportunity for them to swim at a young age I hope they will consider the fact that time final events for the youngsters would be the most ideal way to go about it this will also help the child mentally physically and emotionally versus having to go through more than eight hours in the pool swimming an event around 10 o'clock in the morning due to the number of competition the weather condition uh, sudden lightning we have surpassed 8 p.m. on few days 
which was not the ideal racing time for many at many i don't think it's not for many i think it it is for all it is not the ideal time the rest was indeed uh, an issue however it was beyond the control of the meet director having to face the program unless these decisions were seen up front was seen before the meet commenced and then uh, a valid solution given maybe adding another day to avoid such inconveniences of long competition days i believe our day one was a hectic day for all swimmers and having to swim three more days after that followed by three more days is an easy for any swimmer to take on the challenge of having to be here full time especially in these weather conditions uh, many senior athletes in this meet are competing for seven events that seven morning preliminaries and seven evening finals for some that's 14 events in 4 days average of about 3.5 events is an ideal in this structure having early mornings late nights bad weather extreme heat isn't helping an individual attain his his or her best time so time finals more structured order of events more number of days considered would develop this sport into into giving sri lanka swimming a fresh start also giving sri lanka swimming uh, uh, a better future when we have many swimmers who will fill up the pyramid in the lower levels when we go to the top we will have a good base to work and to look forward for sri lanka swimming so i believe uh we have to learn from our mistakes we have to learn from what we have seen today a month uh, amidst the four days and it has been an it has been a great experience one would say it would have been a tiring experience still a great experience where we can learn from our mistakes learn from what we went, what went right and continue those avenues as well as learn from what we went wrong and find better avenues to tackle such incidents මෙම තරංගාවලිය නමවෙන දින පසුගිය නමවෙන දින ආරම්භ වුණේ ආරම්භ ආරම්භ වුණාට පසුව පළවෙන දවසේ පළවෙන දිනේ මෙම තරංගාවලිය අවසන් වුණේ රාත්‍රී 10:30 දෙකට 10:30 දෙකට 10:30 දෙකට අවසන් වූ එම ක්‍රීඩකයින්ටම සිදු වුණා ඊළඟ දවසේ 10 වෙනි දවසේ උදේ 8ට නැවතත් තරගයට වාර්තා කරන්න එතනදී මෙතන ජ්‍යේෂ්ඨ ක්‍රීඩකයන්ට තියෙන දිනකට මුළු තරංගාවලියටම තරංග හතකට සහභාගී වෙන්න ඒ වගේම කනිෂ්ඨ ක්‍රීඩකින් තරඟ හතරකට සහභාගී වෙන්න. ඒකට උන් දෙපාරක් පීනන්න ගියොත් විශේෂයෙන්ම කනිෂ්ඨ කනිෂ්ඨ තරඟ තීර ක්‍රීඩකයින් දින හතර දින හතරට ඒ ඉවන්ට්ස් අටපාරක් පීනන්න ඕනේ. ඒ වුණාට සීනියර් සීනියර් ජ්‍යේෂ්ඨ තරඟකරුවන් 14 වරක් තරඟ කරන්න ඕනේ. එතකොට ගොඩක් මේ වගේ තරඟාවලි රෑ වුණාම ගොඩක් අවසන් වීම ප්‍රමාද වූ හාම ඊළඟ දවසේ තරංකරුවන් ඉතාමත් අමාරුවෙන් විශේෂයෙන් උදේ වරුව තරං කරනවා අපිට පේනවා අපි ඒකට යම්කිසි ක්‍රමයක් සැරසුව හොඳයි කියලා අපි විශ්වාස කරනවා මොකද අපි පුහුණුකරුවන් වශයෙන් අපිට පේන දෙයක් තමයි ගොඩක් ළමයි එහෙම නැත්නම් දෙමව්පියන් මේ වෙනුවෙන් ගොඩක් මහන්සි වෙනවා පාසල් ගොඩක් මේ වෙනුවෙන් මහන්සි වෙනවා නමුත් අපිට අවශ්‍ය ප්‍රතිඵලය ලබා ගන්න බෑ මේ වගේ දේවල් වුණහම. ඉතින් ඇත්තටම ළමයින්ට තියෙන ලොකු ප්‍රශ්නයක් ඒක. ඒකට මම හිතන්නේ සංගමයේ හෝ තාක්ෂණික නිලධාරින් එකතු වෙලා කුමක් හෝ විසඳුමක් ලබා දුන්නොත් මීට වැඩිය හොඳට අපේ ළමයි අපේ පිහිනුම් ක්‍රීඩාව අපේ රටේ දියුණු කරගන්න පුළුවන් කියලා මම විශ්වාස කරනවා. ඒ වගේම අපේ අපේ ළමයි ගොඩාක් දැන් අපි දෙමව්පියන් අපිත් එක්ක කතා කරන පිට පළාත් වලින් එන පිට පළාත් වලින් එන දෙමව්පියන්ට තියෙන ලොකුම් ප්‍රශ්නයක් තමයි දවස් තුනක් හතරක් කොහොමද ළමයත් එක්ක කොළඹ ඇවිල්ලා නැවතිලා ඉන්නේ කියන එක. ඉතින් ඒ වගේ දේවල් වලට මම දන්නේ නැහැ සංගමයට මෙදිහත් වෙන්න පුළුවන්ද කියලා. නමුත් ඔවුන්ට යම් කිසි නිදහසක් එහෙම නිදහසක් ඕ කියන්නේ යම් කිසි සහනයක් ලබා දෙන ක්‍රමයක් සෙව්වොත් හොඳයි කියලා මට හිතෙනවා. මොකද පිට පළාත් වලින් එන තරඟ කඩුවන් ක්‍රීඩකයන් අඩුවෙන්නේ ඔවුන්ට එවැනි සහන ලබා දෙන්න ක්‍රමයක් අපේ නැති නිසා කියලා අපි විශ්වාස කරනවා. ඉතින් 
කෙසේ හෝ මේ තරංගාවලිය දියුණු කරගෙන අපේ රටේ පිහිනුම් ක්‍රීඩාව දියුණු කරන්න නම් අපි මීට වැඩිය මොනවා හරි ළමයි වෙනුවෙන් එහෙම නැත්නම් ක්‍රීඩකයන් වෙනුවෙන් කරගන්න පුළුවන් නම් කවුරුන් හෝ උදව් කරනවා නම් රජයේ වේවා සංගමයේ වේවා එහෙම නැත්නම් අපි ගත්තොත් වෙනත් ක්‍රීඩා වලට වගේ මොකක් පුද්ගලික ආයතනයක් වේවා පිහිනුම් ක්‍රීඩාවට උදව් කරන්න ඉදිරිපත් වුණොත් ඇත්තටම ගොඩක් හොඳ ක්‍රීඩකයින් අපේ රටේ බිහි කරගන්න පුළුවන් කියලා අපි විශ්වාස කරනවා විශේෂයෙන්ම ඇමරිකන් පිහිනුම් සංගමයේ මතයක් තියෙනවා ඒගොල්ලන්ගේ රටේ ඩේලි ට්‍රේනිං එක කියන්නේ දිනපතා පුහුණුවීම් ලබන ළමයි හාරදාස් තුන්සියකට එක් කෙනෙක් තමයි කියලා ඔලිම්පික් මෙඩල් එකක් දිනන්න හැබැයි අපේ රටේ අපි ගණන් බැලුවාම අපි සොයල බැලුවාම අපිට පේන දෙයක් තමයි අපේ රටේ ළමයි හාර දාහක් දිනපතා පුහුණුවීම සඳහා සහභාගි වෙන්නේ නෑ ඉතින් මේ දිනපතා පුහුණුවීම වලට සහභාගි වෙන ළමුන් සංඛ්‍යාව වැඩි කරගත්තොත් තමයි අපේ ක්‍රීඩාව තවත් දියුණු කරගන්න පුළුවන් එතකොට දැන් ගොඩක් බැලුවොත් අපේ රටේ පිහිනුම් තටාක පුද්ගලික වේවා පාසල් මට්ටමෙන් හෝ වේවා රජයේ ආයතන වල වේවා පිහිනුම් තටාක තිබෙනවා නමුත් පිහිනුම් ක්‍රීඩාව එහෙම නැත්නම් මේ ට්‍රේනින් ප්‍රෝග්‍රෑම්ස් එක දිගට පවත්වාගෙන යන්න ළමයින්ගේ සහභාගිත්වයේ අඩුවට යම්කිසි දෙයක් සංගමයක් හැටියට කරන්න පුළුවන් නම් කරනවා නම් මීට වැඩිය මේ ක්‍රීඩාව දියුණු කරගන්න පුළුවන් කියලා තමයි අපේ හැඟීම විශේෂයෙන් සමහර ළමයි අපිට පේනවා ක්‍රීඩාවට අවශ්‍ය ආහාර විශේෂයෙන් ආහාර ගැන අපි කතා කරොත් ආහාර ඇත්තටම ක්‍රීඩකයින් ආහාර ගන්නේ අවශ්‍ය ප්‍රමාණයෙන් තුනෙන් එකකට වැඩි අඩුවෙන් අපේ රටේ නමුත් අපි ඔවුන්ට එක මූණට කියන්න බෑ කිව්වොත් ඔවුන්ගේ මානසික ඔවුන් වැටෙන එක තීන ඉන්න තනිනුත් පල්ලේ හට වැටෙනවා ඒක නිසා අපි අපි පුද්ගලිකව දන්නවා අපේ රටේ ක්‍රීඩකයින් ක්‍රීඩකයින් අවශ්‍ය ඔවුන්ගේ පෝෂණයෙන් තුනෙන් එකක්වත් හරියට ලබා ගන්න නැහැ කියලා අපි පුහුණුකරුවන් වශයෙන් අනිවාර්යයෙන් මේක දන්නවා ඉතින් ඕකට විසඳුම අපේ ළඟ නැති එක ලොකු ප්‍රශ්නයක් ඒක පුහුණුකරුවන් ළඟින් ළඟත් නෑ සංගමය ළඟත් නෑ මං හිතන්නේ අපි කාගෙවත් ළඟ නැති නිසා තමයි ලොකුම් ප්‍රශ්න වෙලා තියෙන්නේ ඉතින් ක්‍රීඩාව දියුණු කරන්න නම් අපි කොච්චර ට්‍රේන් කරත් පෝෂණය පැත්ත හිතුවේ නැත්නම් දැන් අපි දැකලා තියෙනවා සමහර ළමයි උදේට පුහුණුවීමෙන් පස්සේ ඔවුන්ගේ ගන්න උදේ ආහාර වේල පුහුණුවකින් පසු ගන්න ආහාර වේලා වේලක් හැටියට ප්‍රමාණවත් නෑ සමහර ළමයින්ට අපිට ඒක කියන්න බෑ කිව්වොත් එහෙම වෙන්නේ ඒ ළමයි ඒ කරන පුහුණුවීමත් නවත්තල දාන්න පුළුවන් මානසික වැද වැටෙන්න පුළුවන් ඉතින් ඔන්න ඔය වගේ ප්‍රශ්න වලට අපිට පිළිතුරක් තියෙනවා නම් අපිට මේ ක්‍රීඩාව මීට වැඩිය දියුණු කරගන්න පුළුවන් කියලා අපිට හැඟෙනවා an interesting topic that was brought in the nutritional factor yes sri lanka is fortunate enough to have many pools at school level club level private or government run facilities yet the number of pools that work a team or the teams that train on a daily basis is a handful a team that values training and training over a period of time is what ruan sir had to say he emphasized on the factor that no matter what competition comes through if the training base or the the number of day, days you train and continue to train if that doesn't correlates with the requirement we will fall into a level where we cannot compete at the highest level also brought in a factor was the nutritional factor added to that would be the strength and conditioning there are a lot of attributes that also correlates with the performance of swimming not just training so it is it is very hard to get into all this nitty gritties as we live in a country where nutrition and the cost of living isn't the ideal thing for sportsmen and to be a sportsman at that level all of these attributes have to play a huge role however we are now witnessing the commencement of the 200 meter butterfly for the under 13 boys category an event introduced in 2022 a very new event and we we are fortunate enough to see about 10 competitors taking the challenge of one of the hardest strokes at the age being in the age of 
11 years and 12 years this is not this is not just an event of speed this is an e event of endurance it's an event of strength and it's an event of tempo where you shouldn't overburn at the first couple of hundred on the first hundred because this is an event that requires your stability throughout the race or you will break like i mentioned before the 200 butterfly this is one of the toughest events in the swimming spectrum and only the toughest attempted and it's it's a very good sign for sri lanka swimming to have 10 12 and 11 year olds attempting such a uh, hard event it was not so long ago when we only had about 10 swimmers in sri lanka who would take part now we see 10 swimmers at a young age another 10 at the under 15 category maybe at another 12 and having a base of about 50 swimmers being able to attend this event successfully this is definitely a development or also we could say devil or swimming itself has been a knowledgeable sport and coaches have seen opportunities giving youngsters such events so this is a good start for sri lanka swimming to have such a base in an event where we only saw about 10 in total in the history mama mama tarange kotaram kanishtha kridakinta apahasuda yanna obata hondama udaharanayak mama kiyanna ape rate wasarakata apa samanya pela laksha 4 ha marak vitara peni sidnawa kena avurudakata ape rate upadina daruwange pramaaney ayye ithin ema ඒ වගේ මෙම මේ කැටගරියක මේ ඉවන්ට් එකට පීනන්න අපේ රටේ ළමයි 10ක් සොයා ගන්න අමාරුයි. ඒතර එච්චර එච්චරම් එක්කමනම අමාරු කාර්යයක් මේ ළමුන් මේ වෙලාවේ මේ සාබය වෙන තරගය මීටර් 200 සමන් ලාර තරගය. මුළු රටේම අපේ මේ තරගයට සහභාගී වෙන ළමයි ක්‍රීඩක ක්‍රීඩිකාවන් 10ක් සොයා ගන්න අමාරු තරම්. ඊටමත් පිහිනුම් ක්‍රීඩාවේ තියෙන අමාරුම තරග තරගයක් ඒ වගේ අමාරුම ආ ක්‍රීඩ ආරයක් සමනලාර මීටර් 200 සම සමනලාර තරගය එහි ප්‍රථම ප්‍රථම මූලික තරගය දැන් අවසන් වුවා a very decent attempt by the by lane number 2 representing gateway college master hashel with the age of 12 we can see out of the 10 competitors two of them 12 years old and eight of them 11 years old giving them another opportunity next year to attempt this event in the same age category that is a huge victory for the sri lankan the future of sri lanka swimming i would say with another heat would say the base of sri lanka swimming with such events is giving hope for the future 30994 is currently the fastest time recorded on at this event on the first heat we are about to witness the start of the second heat 309 being the fastest seeded time for now and the record held by Master RMSTB Ratnayaka in 2022 with a time of 252 that is also i would say a very fast time compared to the first seeded time being 17 seconds slower than the record hopefully the finals may show more competition with the stronger swimmers being bunched up together in the middle lanes might take it off to a faster start and give a good race for the record as well මූලික වටේ දෙවන තරගය ආරම්භ වුණා මේ තරගය කරුවන් 6 දිනකු 6 තරග වදිනවා මීටර් 200 සමන් ලාර මූලික වටේ තරගය මූලික වටේ මූලික වටේ දෙවන තරගයයි මේ පවත්වන්නේ මෙම තරගයේ වාර්තාව වන්නේ පසුගිය වසරේ RMSTB රත්නායක ක්‍රීඩකයා විසින් මිනිතු 2යි තත්ත්‍ර 52.66 කට පිටවත් වෙන
තරංකරුවන් දහ දෙනෙකු පමණයි මෙම තරංග තරඟ මූලික තරඟ දෙකට සහභාගී වන්නේ. ඊටමත් පීනුම් ක්‍රීඩාවේ ඇති අමාරුම තරගය කිව්වොත් එය නිවැරදි. Undoubtedly the hardest event in the swimming spectrum. At the end of the 100 meter mark, the swimmer leading in lane number 6 from Dharmaraj College Kandy clocked a time of 1.24. Hoping to come back strong, might put him in the 3 minute zone and I think the rec record will be being 252 it'll be a couple of seconds away might be a tough one but let's hope for the best in the finals that the swimmers get the rhythm get the courage come and do this daunting event once more in the evening it looks like lane number four from DS Senanayaka College is picking up alongside a swimmer from Trinity College fighting out at the last minute from nowhere to challenge for the top spot and yes it was the Trinity College swimmer followed by the swimmer from DS and then the swimmer who was leading from the start the Dharmaraj College boy who finished in third it seems like that's a 312 a very close finish on the top three positions of heat number two Dan Milan ke target, bisa uang ke kesi, angke kesi panasnya ni. Balik kata target, meter desi, saman lah balik kata target. Emat target itu, kredit kredit kawan, dolos dengan kita bagi mana? Dolos dengan kita bagi mana? Memang selalu mata target bola, awasan target, ada hawa tu nen pasu pahat tena. Selalu mata muli kawat itu target bola ini, honda mata kalian warta kan. क्रीड़ा का क्रीड़ा का वन आठ दिन आ तमाई उनके आवश्यक महातारंगे टे साबागी बनने ये हवसा तुनिन पशु मूल्य का बाटे तरंग आवश्यक नहीं में पशु तुनिन पशु पैदा ना दन दन ना रम्म करने मीटर देसी अवृद्धु दाहतु ने पहल बालिका तरंगे पल पलमु Mereka tarungnya warta itu ada visa yang visi dekat, dekat visi dekat warsi. Healthy, healthy pemain cendera kredit kah visi pita pita itu war. Sabak warta minit tu tunai tat per visi tunai tat dasar tunai pahai. Healthy, health, healthy pemain cendera. It's interesting to see the under 13 boys with 10 participants. And the under-13 girls who have more participants, I think it is a very, very rare uh, occasion that we see more participants from the girls, the, the girls' side of events than the boys' side. Boys have always been competitive, but yet we see one of the hardest events being challenged and the girls taking it to be a more interesting event for their spectrum. And we see currently the race led by lane number four, from Lyceum Gampaha, Govindi Dharma Vardhana, raced by lane number two of Visaka Vidyale, Metinya Deera Singha. As per the program, we see 12 participants out of which 10 are 11 year olds, giving them an opportunity to swim once again next year. This is the victory for Sri Lanka swimming. This is our base. This is the interest and enthusiasm shown by these youngsters to take on a challenging event and try and make a, make a career out of it, make a, an event plan out of this and not shy away and stick to the traditional 50s and 100s. They have taken the challenge of going beyond their comfort zone to try and take on the 200. It seems like the girls have shown more interest than the boys as the number of participants are more and it seems like lane number four has a commanding lead over the others and 
still maintaining a good rhythm from Lyceum Gampaha. Pretty impressive for a 12-year-old to be able to, to swim a 200 at this pace. Also looking at the split time at the end of the 150 meter mark with a 2 minute and 31 second split mark. With the right planning, I believe the record can be record can be challenged in the finals. Still the tempo seems very much in control with competition in the evening if she can get her mind in the race. I believe the record for the under 13 which is 323 can be challenged may not be in the preliminaries but yet in the finals she should be able to try seems like this race will break any 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 swimmer this 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 event will break any swimmer no matter how much training as this event is a very tough one yep just a couple of seconds about on the board it says 328 but i think the soft touch was not recorded should be around 325 326 without competition she comfortably finished at 326 yes it is confirmed as 326.08 just a couple of seconds away a couple of seconds is a huge mark yet i believe with competition and getting the mind in the game working a little bit more tactics with the coach can get this girl the record This is Samanla, our Dhatun Pal, Tarangi, Devan, Devan Kumuli, Tarangi, this is Naram Bawani. This is that Tridika one high end Sabagi, you know. Tridika one, what did it? A pretty decent start from lane number four in the second heat. Representing Lyceum Panadura, previously Lyceum Gampa, and now a girl from Lyceum Panadura. With a decent start, hoping that she can hold on to the momentum, the tempo of this daunting event. Four lanes of butterfly. Butterfly being the hardest stroke of all four strokes. And this race having to swim four lanes. Is definitely a challenging one. It is indeed a pleasure in seeing these athletes taking it out, trying to bring in points for their school. Some children who have the attitude of somehow contributing points to their school by taking on a challenging event. It has been the mindset of many leading schools where the aggregated points will win the overall trophy and events like this gives a lot of opportunity for schools to score points for school to score points and uh, swimmers who, who might not enjoy this event yet would try on try and take on this event as a challenge to get those valuable two three four points by trying and getting a sixth seventh or eighth place just to get their school score up so that's also an attitude that many boys' schools in the history had. But I, I believe the girls have caught up to that now. Many leading schools, currently the three leading schools of this championship, end of day three, Visaka Vidyalaya, trailed by Mahamaya College Candy, followed by Ladies College. Uh, some of the schools who look into these events as uh, uh, points and enter swimmers to somehow get through this challenge so that the school can eventually benefit out of the points they get in by getting into the finals so that's also a way to look at this challenging event one is giving them opportunity to have such an event giving them this experience at a young stage also them themselves agreeing to go for this challenge for the benefit of their school uh, 
මෙම කනිෂ්ඨ ක්‍රීඩිකාවන්ගේ ඇත්තටම අපේ රටේ කනිෂ්ඨ ක්‍රීඩිකා ක්‍රීඩිකාවන් ඉතමත් හොඳින් අපේ පුහුණු වීමේ යෙදෙමින් මේ විදිහට තරඟ කරනවා නමුත් අපේ රටේ ලොකුම ප්‍රශ්නේ වෙලා තියෙන්නේ මොවුන් අප අපස සාමාන්‍ය පෙළ වයසට එනකොට එහෙම නැත්නම් උසස් පෙළ වයසට එනකොට මේ තරඟ මේ ක්‍රීඩාවෙන් බැහැර වෙන එක අනේ එයට පිළිතුරක් එයට පිළිතුරක් අපිට සපයා ගන්න පුළුවන් නම් අපේ ක්‍රීඩාව අපිට ගොඩක් දුරට හොඳ තත්වයකට ගෙන යන්න පුළුවන් නමුත් වෙනත් රටවල් වල වගේ නෙමෙයි අපේ රටේ විශේෂයෙන් ඕ ඕලෙව අපස සාමාන්‍ය පෙළ උසස් පෙළ දක්වා යනකොට මේ ක්‍රීඩාවෙන් ඉන්න ඉන්න ක්‍රීඩක ක්‍රීඩාවකනු මෙයින් පුහුණුවීම් තරහ සහභාගීම සියයට පනහකින් හෝ හැටකින් අඩු වෙනවා එම තත්වයේ නිසා තමයි අපිට ජාත්‍යන්තර වශයෙන් ජාත්‍යන්තර මට්ටමට මෙම ක්‍රීඩාව යෑමේ පසු යෑමේදී පසු බෑමක් දක්වන්න ලැබෙන්නේ එයට එයට විසඳුමක් ලැබෙනතුරු මෙම දරුවන්ගේ එහෙම නැත්නම් මෙම ක්‍රීඩාව ක්‍රීඩක ක්‍රීඩිකාවන්ගේ මේ විය විය්‍යර්තේ මේ මහන්සිය මේ මේ මහන්සියෙන් ප්‍රතිඵල ගන්න රටක් වශයෙන් අපිට ක්‍රීඩාවෙන් ප්‍රතිඵලයක් ලබා ගන්න අමාරු තත්වයක් තියෙනවා ඉතින් මම හිතන්නේ අපි මොවුන් රැකගත යුතුයි මොවුන් රැක ගන්නම් දැනට පාසල් මට්ටමින් යම්කිසි වැඩසටහනක් ක්‍රියාත්මක වෙනවා ඒ වගේම වැඩසටහන් ක්‍රියාත්මක වෙනවා නමුත් ඉන් ඔබ්බට මේ ළමයි කොහෙ කොහෙද නවතින්නේ කොහෙද මේ ක්‍රීඩක ක්‍රීඩිකාවන් පුහුණු වෙන්නේ මොකද්ද කරන්නේ කියන එක නැති එක තමයි ලොකුම ප්‍රශ්නය තියෙන්නේ අපේ රටේ ඒ වගේම දැන් මෙම මෙවැනි තරගාවලි වල දැන් මෙම තරගාවලියේ අපිට දකින්න ලැබෙනවා කාන්තා අංශයෙන් එහෙම නැත්නම් බාලිකා අංශයෙන් කොළඹ විශාඛා විද්‍යාලය මහනුවර මහමාය විද්‍යාලය සහ කාන්තා විද්‍ය කොළඹ කාන්තා විද්‍යාලය ඉදිරියෙන් පසු වෙනවා දැනට පව දැනට ලබා ඇති ලකුණු තත්වයන් මත පිරි බාලක අංශයෙන් කොළඹ ශාන්ත ජෝසෆ් ශාන්ත පීතර සහ ආනන්ද විද්‍යාලය ඉදිරියෙන් පසු වෙනවා දැනට ඔවුන් ලබා ඇති ලකුණු තත්වයන් මත ඉතින් ක්‍රීඩක ක්‍රීඩිකාවන් මේ ළාවේ තමන්ගේ පාසල දිනවීම සඳහා සෑහෙන මහන්සියක් ලබන මහන්සියක් ගන්න බව පේනවා විශේෂයෙන් පළවන ස්ථාන අට සඳහාම ප්‍රති ලකුණු ලැබෙනවා ඒ කියන්නේ මූලික තරගයෙන් පසු අවසන් වටේට සහභාගි වෙන සෑම ක්‍රීඩකයෙක්ම ඔවුන්ගේ පාසලට ලකුණු ලබා ගන්නවා මෙම ලකුණු ක්‍රමය මත ඔවුන්ගේ පාසල දිනවීමට අද අවසන් දිනයයි ඔවුන් සෑහෙන වෙහෙසක් මහන්සියක් දරන බව පේනවා ඒ වගේම දැන් ආරම්භ වුණා අවුරුදු පහළවෙන් පහළ අවුරුදු පහළවෙන් පහළ මීටර් දෙසිය සමනලාර තරගය තරගයේ මූලික වටේ We're witnessing the first heat of the 200 meter butterfly under 15 boys category. Leading the way is Master Sinura Vijay Singh in lane 5 of St. Joseph's College. With half a body length ahead of lane 4. Lane 4 being the fastest seat time. The Josephian showing confidence leading the race. splitting at 116 at the 100 meter mark with two more heats to go an interesting fact of having about uh, having 17 swimmers registered for this event the record 220 established in 2018 by Amodya Dulshan and Nalandian as a very impressive time for a 14 year old and i believe that record is one to aim for at a young stage but not the easiest to achieve 220 is definitely one of the tougher times yes if you can see moving on to under 17 the record is 218 which is not too far away not too slow for the under 15 to be to 220 so that record i believe is quite out for these swimmers unless we have a swimmer who really shows courage and takes it up on the blocks and tries to challenge it at least in the upcoming years let's hope for swimmers to be able to challenge that record of 5 years 5 years ago established by a well known flyer
ಅವ್ರದ್ದು ಪಹಲು ಇನ್ ಪಹಲು ಸಮನ್ಲಾರ್ ತರಗೆ ಮೀಟ್ರ್ ದೇಶಿ ಸಮನ್ಲಾರ್ ತರಗೆ ಪಲಮು ಪಲಮು ತರಗೆ ಇದನ್ನು ಅವಸಾನ ಹೂವೆ ಈ ತರಂಕ ಈ ಕ್ರೀಡೆ ಕ್ರೀಡಿಕಾವನ್ ಅಟ ದಿನಕ್ಕೆ ಸಹಭಾಗಿವ ದೇವನ ತರಗೆ ಸಂದಹದ ಕ್ರೀಡೆ 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 ಕೈನ್ ಪಸ್ತನಿಕ ಸಹಭಾಗಿವೆನು ಬಾವ ಅಪಿಟ ದನಗಾನ್ನಟ ಪುಲ್ವಾನ್ ಕೆಸೇ ವೇದ ಮೆಮ ತರಂಗ ತರಂಗೆ ಅವಸಾನ ತರಂಗೆ ಹವಸ ತುನಿನ್ ಪಶು ಪೆತ್ತೆನ್ನೇ ಈ ತಮಾತ್ ತಿವನು ತರಂಗೆ ಬಾವಟ ಪತ್ತನ ಬಾವಟ ದನಟ ಅನಾಮ ಕಿ ಕಿ ಅನ್ನ ಪುಲ್ವಾಮ್ ಮೊಕದ ಕ್ರೀಡಕೈನ್ ಕ್ರೀಡಕೈನ್ ಪಲಮು ಅಟೆ ಈ ತಮಾತ್ ಹೊಂದಿನ ತರಂಗ ವಾದಿನವ ಮೆಮ್ಮ ತರಂಗೆ ಮೂಲಿಕ ವಾಟೆ ತರಂಗ ತುನ ಸಂದ ಮತ್ತು ಕ್ರೀಡೆಗಿಂತ ದಾಹ ದಿನಕ್ಕೆ ಸಹಭಾಗಿ ದನ್ ಪಾವತಿ ಇನ್ನೇ ಮೂಲಿಕ ವಾಟೆ ದೇವನ ತರಂಗೆ ಆಯ್ತು ಮೆಮ್ಮ ತರಂಗೆ ವಾರ್ತಾವ ದಿದಾಸ್ ದಹಾಟ ವರ್ಷ ಅಮೋದ್ ದುಲ್ಶಾನ್ ಕ್ರೀಡೆಗೆ ಸತು ಮಿಂತು ದೇಕಾಯಿ ತಾತ್ಪರ್ಯ ವಿಸಾಯ ದಸಮ ಬಿಂದು ಹಯಾಯ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ದೇಶೀಯ ಅವ್ರದ್ದು ಪಹಲಿನ ಪಾಲ ಬಾಲಕ ತರಂಗೆ ಅವ ದೇವನ ಮೂಲಿಕ ಬಟ್ಟೆ ತರಂಗೆ ಇದನ್ನು ಅವಸರ ಮೀಟರ್ ತುಂಬಿ ಈ ಅಂಕ ಲೇ ನಂಬರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ತರಂಗ ಕರ್ಣ ಸಹ ಲೇ ನಂಬರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಅಂಕ ಹತ್ತರ ಸಹ ಅಂಕ ಹಾಯ್ ತರಂಗ ಕ್ರೀಡೆಯನ್ನು ದೆದನಾಮ ತಿವನು ತರಂಗೆ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಪಶು ತರಂಗೆ ನಿಮ್ಮಕಲ ಒಂದು ದೆದನಾಮ ಮೀತು ದೇಕಾಯಿ ತತ್ಪರ ತೀಸಾಟ ದಸಮ ನಮೇ ಅಟ್ಯಾಕ್ ಸಹ ಮೀತು ದೇಕಾಯಿ ತತ್ಪರ ತತ್ಪರ ತೀಸಮೇ ದಸಮ ಹತಾಯಿ ನಮೇ ಕಿಂಗ್ ತರಂಗೆ ನಿಮ್ಮಕಲ ಓಂ ದಿದ್ರಾಮ ಅನಿವಾರ್ಯ ಅವಸಾನ ಮಹಾತರಂಗೆ ಸುಸುಗ ಲಭನವಾಯತಿ interesting race by in heat number 2 by lane number 4 and lane number 6 who touched within a second this will take it to the wire at the finals at the 200 meter butterfly which is scheduled for the evening yet as i said before 
these these two times being the two fastest seeds for the finals still 18 seconds away which is a long way from the record as i said that record by amodi dulshan is pretty impressive this record will stand i believe it will stand and not be tampered with today at this championship with that we will move on to the under 15 girls once again 11 competitors registered and ready to go for the 200 meter butterfly under 15 record standing at 246 another impressive time by Oneli Yahampath from Lyceum Nugegoda establishing it in 2018 Output transcript Out of the Palan, Hala Balika Tarang in the Aram Bibimata Niamitai, the Palamute, Palumate, Palamutarangana, Kirika, and Pastinic Sahabagi, you know. Memo meter this year, Samanla Tarangate, Mulikote, Taranga de Gat Pautin, Pathana. Nemetarake Varta, Onil Yahampat, the last the heart of Varshadi, Pitu at Tibino, a minute to the guy that Prahatali said as a Matai Hatra. प्रथम मूल्य के बारे में तरंगे एक रियायत में करने ही जनत लेन अंक अंक पाह तरंगे वादी ने होते अंक पाहिन तरंगे में सियारा सियारा विजय सिंह लाइसिम वातले क्रीड़ी कावाई इधरीन क्रीड़ा करने Finish on, finishing off in first place, Seara Vijay Singh of Lyceum International School, Vattala, with a timing of 3.10, which was also 3.10 or 3.11, somewhere around there. Uh, the touch touchpad 
soft touch was not recorded. Yes, 310, I'm correct. 310.08 was the time that was recorded. The other competitors being 10 seconds or behind. We will, we will wait to have and s we'll have to wait and see whether the second third of this preliminary heat might make the finals as we will see five to six more swimmers taking on heat number two it all depends on the fastest eight times being seeded for the finals and if these six swimmers make their way faster than 320 that might put the third place on the previous heat in trouble to make the final Output transcript Out Palin Pal Mulikavati Devon Tarange are Arambua Balika Devon Tarange, a critic on Pastinic Saba given. Mulikavati Devan Taranga Pautini Danta Danata he uh Idrian Ma Pina uh Pridakarani Senuchi Vihanga Lysim Lysim Gampaha Pridikavai Senuchi Vihanga Manti to the Taranga Dine Dimagi Agalavata, Mantur Mantiru Ankatuna, Chila Vimalasena, Mankur Hatra, Sineshi Vihanga, a Mantiru Ankapahe, Senara Ranavaka, some Mantiru Ankahaya, Daniela Robin Tarangavadino. Seems like it's not a difficult task for Lane 4 to finish up first with a commanding lead from Lysem Gampa, Shenushi Vihanga making her way to the finish line. The previous heat that are the fastest time of 3 minutes and 10 seconds followed by two more swimmers who went 320, 320 and 321 if I'm not mistaken. But Shenushi Vihanga seems like she will make it under three minutes. Yes, at 257. That's 13 seconds faster than the first preliminary heat. She has made a statement in this event. A state has made a statement to show dominance on this event. Even the second and third place of this heat has matched the previous heat, the first heat, rank one, which might be a very interesting medal race for the silver and bronze medal.
अवरु दाह तेन पाल समनलार बाल के तरंगे आरंभ हुआ ये प्रथम मूली का वाटे मूली के तरंगे पीड़ा के इन पस्ते ने में संधा साब जो We are witnessing the first heat of the 200 meter butterfly boys under 17 with five competitors in heat number one followed by two more heats to come. The record standing at 2 minutes and 18 seconds by Imesh Chaturanga of DS Senanayaka College established in the year 2014. A long standing record for that matter. It will be an interesting race as we see prominent names who have been well recognized in the previous years some names that include um, Josephian Akash Prabhashwara who also took the gold in the 1500 this morning Vihanga Kaldera who has won several gold medals in the past in this event got Menuka Sandamit also a medalist who have been who has contended for the podium always in this event. Another familiar name would be Binura Talagala, who is a swimmer, I think is, if I'm not mistaken, attempting this event for the first time, yet have been on the podium at all stages, also in the national pool and will be representing Sri Lanka at the Singapore National. So it will be an interesting race, looking at the heat sheet and the names and competitors it will be a very very challenging uh, event for the finals and I expect none other than a thrilling experience and all swimmers looking looking sharp ready to take on this event for their school और दाहत इन पाल मीट देसी समनलार मूली के वाटे तरंगाई पावत नहीं पाल मूली के वाटे वाले वाटे तरंगाई में में वेल में अवस्था भी पावत था नहीं नहीं तूनो ने मूली के वाटे तरंगे सदा साबा के नो आधे उदयसन मीट एक दस पांच ये निदास सार तरंगे तरंगे वार था तब वो आकाश प्रभाशुर में तरंगे सदा साबा के नो उदय वर्गे पहले मीटर इधर पंसी इधर सारे तरह के नव वार्ता वक्त पीठे हुआ ओह में मत तरह के तुमने मूल्य का बटे दी साबा आगे होना हिट नंबर टू विथ सम फैमिलियर फेसेस विहांग का कल्डेरा बिन रताला गला बिन रताला गला फॉर लाइसी हम नुकेय गुड़े विहांग का कल्डेरा फॉर सेंट पीटर्स कॉलेज and the third hit will be the fastest seed time. Akash Prabhashara, who also won the gold medal in the 1005 and established a new meet record, 1500 meter under 17 age category. So once again, it will be an interesting race in the final. Seems like lane four has started off quite well, representing St. Peter's. A good start with 30 seconds on the clock on the first 50. King Smooth also.
Lane 4 and Lane 5 locked in a battle to try and finish off first in the preliminary round, heat number 2. Once again, one of the toughest events, maintaining that rhythm, maintaining the pain through the 200. Once the lactic acid hits your body and then the stroke starts to break, it's sheer will, sheer courage, sheer training that plays the, plays the game. Seems like two swimmers racing each other to finish off and get on the wall first. Lane 4 now finding another gear to finish off. And should be able to touch the wall first with, without an issue. A fast 225 and a 227 by both competitors representing their schools from lane number 4 and 5. This should be interesting. Interesting final once again. We are going to witness not a stranger to this event. Akash Prabhashwara has has been on the block representing St. Joseph's in this very same event many times. So he's not a stranger. He knows the dynamics. He knows the strategy of this 200. And with the confidence he has in breaking today's National Edge record in the 1500 freestyle. I'm sure that confidence will also be shown in this event. And the finals will be very interesting to see them race and try and take down the record from 2014. <laughs> At the Udasana, Mitrek Das Pansi, Tanagi, Baba, now Warta, Tabu Akash, Probash for a feed again. A very strong 100 shown by the Josephian. A commanding lead of 8 seconds or the second swimmer maintaining the rhythm. He's an experienced swimmer in the 200 fly yet the 1500 tiredness might come into play. But seems like that's not affecting him right now. He seems to be in control and getting the work done. To clinch that title and go into the finals as the fastest seed. The rhythm seems to be still being maintained. The tempo at the same speed. Good fast turn. 145 at the 150 meter mark. Seems like a comfortable finish for Akash Prabhashwara. The swimmer with the most experience among the names in today's event. Waiting for the final time. The soft touch was not recorded on the touch board. I think 223, 224 should be on the board. Slightly off his personal best. We are waiting for the confirmation from the touchpad.
Yes, I'm not mistaken. 224 on the board, and for, and the second heat, the Pete Wright who went 225, be an interesting race. It will be an interesting race among the two competitors, Josephians and Pete Wright's brothers in the field fighting for the gold medal. Akash Prabhashwara slightly having the advantage of being the fastest swimmer, the most experienced. But Vyanka Kaldero also being a very experienced swimmer in this event, having done this event multiple times, winning many medals. This will be the fitter athlete, the better athlete and the strong athlete who puts the race into action. Their skill, their training into action might take the medal. और दाहतिन पाल कांता तरंगे टे तरंग कल्पन दाहत राख लिया बन चुवी थी बुरा नमूत तो उन अटल दिन दिन तुम आडू आडू इन तमाई में विलाय वार्ता कल दिन उन्हें मनी मनीषा इमत तरंगे आवश्यक वा तरंगे एक पश्चिम हवस फरुए पैदते ना इमनीषा दन पैदती मनी में मत आई अंके किसी हटा हटर मीटर देसी First heat, for the under 20, 200 meter butterfly. Interesting entry sheet with names that have been swimming other events. If I'm not mistaken, lane number two and lane number three, who swam the 1500 as well, have taken it up. Not easy. Two hours ago to do a 1500 race. Bring in the points, race the 1500, 30 lanes of this pool, and then come and do the hardest event. Sheer courage and the training factor is seen by those two individuals. I see many others who have taken the same path of doing both events, trying to score those valuable points for their school. Lane number four, right, representing St. Joseph's, Shavin Vikramaratna, leading the pack, followed by Master Sujit Shivan of St. Joseph's once again, leading the first heat. Followed by a Pete Wright and Anandian battling out for rank three. This is somehow to get to the top eight and try and score those most valuable points, two, three points for school. So they are giving it their all to try and get into that top eight. And looks like the two Josephians having a commanding lead will take their take the spots in the final. The second heat will be interesting to see how many can make that final. Out of the vision pala, meter desi, saman lar tarange, pratam mulika vate tarange, then pavitin nehi. Idrian magaman karane, ankahatar, savin nuker on the kolbe. सांता जोसेफ क्रीड के ऐसा अंक पहिन तरंग अंक पहिन तरंग वादी ने अंक तुरंत तरंग वादी ने इसके शिरान उठ सांता जोसेफ क्रीड के The record for this event by Cheranta De Silva, former Anandian, the time of 2.14.68 in 2014. Cheranta De Silva is a prominent name in the swimming field who has represented Sri Lanka at multiple South Asian Games, winning close to 10 medals. Currently graduated from the U university in the US. Part-time coaching and training as well, wanting to make an appearance once again. Sri Lanka swimming at the World Championships, giving it a shot for the 2024 Olympic Games. Charanta has been in the field for quite a long time. From the age, if I'm not mistaken, from the age of 18 to about 24, that's a very long, very long career. 
and he's still in the game and we are now witnessing another five another five students taking their taking the race for the 200 meter butterfly and that's nine swimmers taking one swimmer might one swimmer will be left out of the final so this is the battle for the top eight places the under 20 boys 200 meter butterfly and that would be the end of the butterfly events and commencing the final set of freestyles from under 11 up until to over 20. Out of the Vicent Pahal Balaka, Devana Mulikavate Tanaga Aramba Wa. Mulikwate, Tarang de Kazanda, Kriya, Namadinik Sahabagi, Namadinagin, Ekayu, Pamanai, Avasanwate, Tarangin, Idirati, Matavasta, Nula Ben, the Kriya Kin, Atadeniku, Avasan Mate, Tarangasanda, Toragano, Own Labagana, Own Labagana, Kale, Matatamai, Mimma, Tarang Kriya Kin, Atadena, Avasan, Tarangasanda, Susukam Labani. Mematarang in Pasu, Isau Ankekasi Hatata, out of the Kola in Palamitra Pana, Nidasar, Palumate Taranga, Aram Kerno, Mulikavate Taranga, Emma Palama, Palamu Taranga Santa, Mulikavate Taranga, Hayak Pavatina, Hayak Hayak Santa, Kridak in Aydum Kalatino, Mulu Kida Kin Gan Muli Kawate Sandha Sabagi and Kida Kin Hatalis Tundeneku Sabagi no Ain Hondamakali and Vartakan Kida Kin Atadena Savaswarwe Pavatina Avasan Tarange Sandha Susukam Labro. You can see four swimmers taking their way to make their way to the finals in the evening for the two hundred fly. Lane number four and five with a very close touch. Lane 5 taking the finish line to be first. The Pete Wright, Matthew Kure, and lane number 4, Master Senita Tenuar of St. Sebastian College Morotua. And we have lane number 7 finishing the race from Trinity College. The top 8 times based on the seeding will make their way to the finals of the 200 fly in the evening. And with that, comes to the end of the 200 meter butterfly events and we will move on to the 50 freestyle events which is the most number of competitors seen because it's the fastest event in the swimming field of uh, spectrum of events the fastest event and the most common stroke that is trained the shortest distance of the common stroke so the number of competitors is always high on 50 freestyle the number of heats the preliminaries is always the number of preliminaries is always seen and we will see a lot of competition at the 50 freestyle and uh, hopefully this base will continue up until the high age groups. With that uh, we move on to the 50 freestyle.
Good afternoon, viewers. It's uh, nice to be back on air since the uh, Shahan Dayasan, uh, Ruan Mandavalu, who's been uh, commentating since the morning. Um, uh, they are the uh, most uh, prominent uh, coaches in uh, Sri Lanka swimming, so they have to leave uh, for an emergency coaches meeting. Uh, which is taking pl place here at the Sukhothathu Stadium uh, swimming pool complex uh, um, uh, auditorium. So uh, since uh, Shahan and uh, Mr. Manavadu uh, has to attend the meeting, uh, I've just taken up uh, bringing, bringing you the uh, commentaries until such time they return and uh, continue with their commentaries. Uh, with their expertise on swimming uh, because uh, uh, Ruan Manavadu is the most uh, senior uh, swimming coach in Sri Lanka and uh, Shehan Dias has been his uh, understudy uh, since his uh, school days at uh, St. Joseph's College and and uh, so I'll be uh, joining the uh, commentaries uh, from the event number 168 uh, that's uh, boys under 11 50 meter freestyle and uh, in uh, there are, there are six uh, heats in this event and in heat number one uh, three uh, under 11 uh, swimmers will participate in lane number one is Setun Rajapaksa of Lyceum International School Panadura and in lane number four is Dave De Silva of St. Joseph's College Colombo and in lane five is Daham Rajapaksa of Lyceum International School Vatala. We are into the uh, fourth and final day of this uh, 47th National Age Group Swimming Championships uh, which started off on the 9th of June, that's uh, three days bef uh, before today and uh, the participation from uh, across the island has been tremendous uh, and uh, a whole lot of uh, juniors and uh, uh, recently uh, who have participated at the uh, Novices Swimming Championships and uh, Intermediate Swimming Championships 2023 who, who have uh, uh, promoted themselves by achieving the qualifying times of those uh, two championships to be uh, here participating at this 47th uh, National Age Group Swimming Championships which would uh, ultimately pave them the way to be participating at the uh, forthcoming uh, na Junior and, uh, National Swimming Championships so that would be their uh, goal uh, I mean, to bring in a uh, rich harvest for their hard work uh, because they have been training right throughout uh, the uh, few months of this year and uh, so how they have been doing since they have started swimming, uh, I mean, uh, from learn to swim up to uh, where their uh, salary is right now. So, uh, we have seen the uh, completion of heat number one of uh, six heats of event number 168, boys only 11, 50 meter freestyle. And uh, there are eight participants in heat number two of uh, this uh, event number 168. Uh, that's uh, Nehan Savirakwari of uh, Royal College in lane number one. Vihen uh, Rasanka uh, in lane number two, uh, in lane number three is KND uh, 
Kalavana, lane number four is RM Jai Surya, lane number five is uh, HKSD Habaradua, lane number six is Kevan uh, Penula, lane number seven is Seon Rajapaksha, and lane number eight is Mark Jaden. That's the end of uh, heat number two of event number 168. Uh, the participants of uh, heat number three are ready to take the starters orders. Lane number one is uh, Shenuk Fernando. Lane number two is Zane Pereira. Lane number three is uh, Lesandu. Uh, Imbul Piti Kanda, lane number four, Manjula uh, Nelugola, lane number five is uh, Inura Gamage, lane number six, Senura Senavira, lane number seven is FBRP Bosita, and lane number eight is Diren Kuri. It must be mentioned, I mean, right throughout these uh, four days, up to now, uh, all the swimmers, their uh, coaching staff, their parents, and the officials, they have been working overtime, especially, I mean, uh, to take care of these uh, junior swimmers who are swimming in the uh, under 11 and under 13 and uh, under 15 age groups, because uh, they need uh, proper nurturing and uh, it is praiseworthy i mean the way how the coaches the parents and the officials have handled them um, to see that i mean they, they are not being um, worked uh, over time or unduly though uh, depending on the number of entries we have had the Sri Lanka Aquatic Sports Union, uh, they have uh, come together um, in timely discussing on how to uh, address issues, uh, especially how to manage the time because on the first day we had to work overtime uh, to see that uh, we are on schedule uh, of completing the events which were uh, scheduled for the day one. And uh, uh, as I was just uh, talking about the uh, proceedings of the past four days up to now, uh, we are into the heat number four of uh, event number 168. Lane number one was M.A. Gunavardhana, lane number two, Satija Gunasekara, Tenula Haputantri in lane number three, Najan Vijaysingh, lane number four, Mevanka Dihain, lane number five, Senator Jayasekara, lane number six, Minuja Nayanath, lane number seven, and M.M.A. Adit in lane number eight. We are ready to start the event number five of, uh, event, sorry, heat number five of, uh, event number 168, lane number one is B. Amarasekara, two is K.O.D. Pereira, lane number three is W. Pradeep, lane number four is Savin Mudan Naik, lane number five is Tevin Paramune, uh, lane number six Iksita Pereira, lane number seven uh, Kurukula Surya and lane number eight is Sasmi Randula. Heat number 5 of event number 168, boys under 11, 50 meter freestyle.
That's the end of heat number five of event number 168. We are uh, into the heat number six of uh, the same event. Lane number one is uh, Situla Gunavardana. Lane number two is MPGM uh, Pankaja. Lane number three is Nevindu Migahavata. Lane number four is AHM Hakim. Lane number five is Dulnit uh, Mahipala. Lane number six is BD Gunavardana. Lane number seven is KGK Saru. And lane number eight is Sasen Senadira. That's the end of heat number six of uh, event number 168 and the completion of the event. Next, uh, we'll be working off event number 168, 69, sorry, following the event number 168, that's uh, girls under 11, 50 meter freestyle, uh, there are six heats and this is the first heat of uh, the six heats, lane number uh, three is Hiranya Gunatilekha, lane number four is Sevanya Samarasekara, and lane number five is Neli Bandaratilekha. Um, lane num sorry, um, we are about to start heat number two of event number 169. Uh, lane number two is RT Kumarige. Lane number three is Jaime Gunasekara. Lane number four, Kelly Bandaratilaka. Lane number five, Gyansa Javardana. Lane number six, Bethany Fernando. And lane number seven is Kennedy Jai Sundara.
here are the participants of heat number three lane number one is uh, Janartana Prasahan lane number two is Oak Tenakorn lane number three is Oshira Karunaratna lane number four is Miheli uh, Mindara lane number five is uh, Judith Jayaprakash lane number six O uh, Nia Rapola Lane number seven is uh, Shanaya Kodituaku and lane number eight is S. Bandar. That's the end of heat number three. Next is uh, heat number four of event number 169. Uh, lane number one is Arundhati Piyadasa. Lane number two is uh, Thinuli Dimal. Lane number three is uh, Met Manti Pereira. Lane number four is uh, GMC Akitya. Lane number five is Ranudi Jayaratna. Lane number six, Manel Gapper. Lane number seven is uh, Hansika Hiru Chalya and lane number 8 is TR Abhiratna. Next is heat number five. Lane number one is Kulansa uh, Galhena. Lane number two is A. Amar Singha. Lane number three is uh, Dushenka Rupa Singha. Lane number four is uh, Nesansa Jayavira. Uh, lane number five is Yulina Pereira. Lane number six, Nehansa Hapuarachi. Lane number seven is Hanudu uh, Mihansa. And lane number eight is Devki Valpola. Next is uh, heat number six, the final heat of uh, event number 169, girls under 11, 50 meter freestyle. Lane number one is uh, Senumi Pereira, lane number two is Kiara Bandara, lane number three is Suvini Pereira, lane number four, Ameliza Silva, lane number five, Marisa Fernando, lane number six is uh, Shayali Kavitya, lane number seven, Binudi Hevagi, and lane number eight is Inuki Vijay Sekar. Thank you. 
ในการเตรียมความนิยมสวัสดิการในทางบาลที่จะเป็นทางที่ดีที่สุดเพื่อทำให้เราได้ไม่ต้องการจะมีสวัสดิการที่เสื่อมแต่จะเป็นเรื่องที่สำคัญ Next, uh, we'll be working off event number 170. That's uh, boys under 13, 50 meter freestyle. There will be uh, five heats uh, in this uh, event. Uh, in heat number one, uh, in lane number two, Jehan Manasingh. Lane number three is KKD Fernando. Lane number four is Minuka Mihindu Kurasuriya. Lane number five is Abhiman Hetiarachi. Uh, lane number six is Tinet Rajapaksha. Uh, that's the lineup of this heat number one of event number 170. Boys under 13, 50 meter freestyle. In heat number two, uh, lane number one is Savi Piris, lane number two is Adish Gamage, lane number three is Himal Pereira, lane number four is uh, WD AYR Costa, lane number five is uh, Manuda uh, Maliad, lane number six is Sevin Nanekar, lane number seven is KDU Fernando, and lane number eight is Ryan Pereira. This is event number 170 uh, and heat number two, boys under 13, 50 meter freestyle. In uh, heat number three, lane number one is K Didula uh, Susum. Lane number two is uh, Dunil Disanayaka. Uh, lane number three is Binuga Netsulu. Uh, lane number four is Ipshita Pereira. Uh, lane number five is Sandevumit Silva. Lane number six is Yei Hirundini. Lane number seven is uh, Janek Piris. And lane number eight is Sabri Shahan. Next is uh, uh, heat number five, sorry, four. Uh, lane number one is Senuka Bomet. Lane number two is uh, SB Kumaragi. Lane number three, Gavin Vitarana. Lane number four is Taruka Salgadu. Lane number five, Bhagya Vikramasinghe. Lane number six, SC Gunatilaka. Lane number seven, uh, Gimhana Heva Vitarana. Lane number eight is Akin Vikram Singh. Event number 170, uh, boys under 13, 50 meter freestyle.
that's the end of heat number five. We are uh, ready to start heat number five, the final heat of event number 170, boys under 13, 50 meter freestyle. Lane number one is AKDSS Amarasinghe. Lane number two is Mark D. Silva. Lane number three is VRL Fonseca. Lane number four is WNA Piris. Lane number five is Dulaksh Ganidu. Lane number six, uh, SADD Dulena uh, Dinsar. Lane number five is Sehandu uh, Nimtaka. Lane number eight is KBN Chandimal. With the completion of heat number 5 of uh, event number 170, uh, which marks the end of event number 170, next uh, we'll be moving on to event number 171, that's girls under 13, 50 meter freestyle. This event comprised uh, 6 heats. In heat number one, lane number two is uh, Keshali Ranatunga, lane number three is Senudi Yahansa, lane number four, uh, Janali Virasinghe, lane number five, Siara Rajakarna, and lane number six is Nisali Devage. This is uh, heat number one of event number 171, girls under 13, 50 meter freestyle. This event is made of six heats. This is heat number one. In heat number two, lane number one is Sandi uh, Nemdini, lane number two is SMC uh, Manjali, lane number three is uh, Tenuli Rajapaksha, lane number four is Sanuti Gaman Pillar, lane number five is uh, Mehwaz Ashif, lane number six is Gayansa Abhivartana, lane number seven is Sanuli Gamagi, and in lane number eight is Nihansa uh, Navratna. Heat number two of event number 171, girls under 13, 50 meter freestyle.
next is uh, heat number three of event number 171 girls under 13 50 meter freestyle lane number one is y ekanayaka lane number two d silva lane number three is h jaya singha lane number four gansi lasari uh, lane number five isali ari sena lane number six is sams uh, Sas sasitma uh, lane number seven is uh, Rantini Vitana and lane number eight is HHKN Tevanmi. A very good afternoon to uh, all the viewers once again who have tuned in for this uh, live telecast on Gaja TV uh, 116. Uh, you are watching the live action from the uh, Sukhadadasa Indo complex swimming pool of the 47th national age group swimming championships today is the third, fourth and final day of this uh, championships we started on 9th friday and we are almost uh, nearing the luncheon break on this fourth and final day of the championships next is uh, heat number four of uh, event number 171 Lane number one is Netara Hittiarachi. Lane number two is Kanesha Di Silva. Lane number three is Ranuti Fernando. Lane number four is Heshra Di Silva. Lane number five is Kihara Gunatilekal. Lane number six is Sanuri Vitanagi. Lane number seven, Enaya Jai Singh. And lane number eight is Neshali Dikwell. The 47th National Aid Group Swimming Championships is uh, conducted by the uh, governing body for aquatic sports in Sri Lanka, the Sri Lanka Aquatic Sports Union, the affiliate of international governing body for aquatic sports, that the World Aquatics, which is well known as the FINA, now they have changed their name as well aquatics so sri lanka aquatic sports union is the local affiliate for uh, world governing body world aquatics here in sri lanka and next is uh, heat number five or event number 171 uh, lane number one is uh, dinetri ratnayaka lane number two is pg sk uh, pal lane number Three is Iman uh, Tambi Dore. Uh, lane number four is uh, Rushali Disanayaka. Lane number five is Dehemi Belpage. Lane number six is Vinudi Edi Nadarua. <laughs> lane number seven is Sesadi Gehansa. And lane number eight is Sueni Manage. Next is the final heat of uh, event number 171. Lane number one is uh, TMMAN uh, Satsarani. Uh, lane number two is Gunavardhana Sofia. Lane number three is Sanuki Silva. Lane number uh, four is Alena Maffa. Uh, lane number five is uh, Rashu Rahudi uh, Chahinsa. Lane number six is Lisansa Bopage. Lane number seven, WIS Abbe Vikrama. And lane number eight is Ranuki Senaratna. Alena Maffa of Gefari Dulapandan uh, Swim School has been one of those uh, junior national uh, junior swimmers who has uh, 
stole the limelight during the past three days. She has performed exceptionally well in her events. So Gefari was very happy when I was uh, speaking to him about his swimmers, uh, Alena Moffa and Abdul Rahman. So with that heat number six of event number 171 is completed. Next is uh, event number 172, boys under 15, 50 meter freestyle. Lane number two is Kevan Ranipura. Lane number three is Rakindu Kumasaru. Lane number four is Anshuti uh, Rajchandra. Lane number five is NS uh, Ruknayak. Lane number six is Joel Darshan. In hit number two, lane number one is WWS Yashinta, lane number two is uh, Cheyenne Ashik, lane number three is AMOS Netmira, lane number four is uh, Buvindu Tikshaka, lane number five is Tisala Gunasekara, lane number six is Randiv Emerson, lane number seven is Darren Mendes, and lane number seven is eight is uh, Dilan Hevagi. In hit, hit number three, lane number one is Omet uh, Pereira, lane number two is uh, Nimsara Thorosana, lane number three is uh, Sehandu Rupa Singha, lane number four is Kenura Pereira, lane number five, Migara Fernando, uh, lane number six is Yovendu Biman, lane number seven is Genura Malinga, lane number eight is Janoidu Jayasundar. Heat number three of event number 172, boys under 15, 50 meter freestyle. In heat number four, lane number one is Dinura Egodavata, lane number two is Senila Boteju, lane number three is Sasen Batagoda, lane number four is Suryampola, lane number five is Anik Sharif, lane number six is Seth Fernando, lane number seven is ATB Anuhas, and lane number eight is BNA Fernando. The event in progress is heat number four of 
sorry, uh, heat number four of event number 172, boys under 15, 50 meter freestyle. In heat number five, lane number one is WK Fernando, lane number two is uh, Vihanga Mendes, lane number three is Isandu uh, Manrat, lane number four is AIM Hati, uh, lane number five is IA Disanayak, lane number six is KW uh, Natesha, lane number six is uh, Vikram Ratna, and lane number eight is Helika Fernando. Swimming in lane number four, I am Hatim of St. Peter's College, is one of those junior swimmers who has been uh, spoken of very highly and a very bright uh, future hopeful for Sri Lanka swimming, especially his coach Sayahan uh, Dias is very happy the way uh, he's been performing since his uh, uh, starting uh, from under 11 uh, age category and uh, the uh, progress he has shown up to now and uh, according to most of the knowledgeable coaches is very commendable and uh, in next is heat number six of event number 172 lane number one is uh, Jai Surya lane number two is Mithula Himanka lane number three is uh, Dinhas Pereira lane number four is Okita Gunasekara lane number five is Ride Maliadda lane number six is KVT Elisha, lane number 7 is K.A. Hesandu and lane number 8 is Virun Ganepola. In heat number seven, the seven and the final heat of event number 172, boys under 15, 50 meter freestyle. Lane number one is Chamat uh, Devmina. Lane number two is EA Ganesh. Lane number three is uh, CL Heva Vitarana. Lane number four is PS Aravinda. Lane number five is Ivan Gunavardana, lane number six is ANN Dabare, lane number seven is Nathan Toussaint, lane number eight is Danush Vijay Sundar. Heat number uh, will complete the event number 172, that's uh, boys under 15, 50 meter freestyle. Event number 173 is girls under 15, 50 meter freestyle. Heat number one, lane number one is uh, D. Fernando, lane number two is uh, 
एस सेंथवाला ले नंबर फाइव इज पीएचडी सिल्वा हीट नंबर वन ऑफ इवेंट नंबर 173 गर्ल्स अंडर 15 50 मीटर फ्रीस्टाइल डिफेनेंडो इन ले नंबर थ्री ले नंबर फोर इज एस सेंथवाला एंड ले नंबर फाइव इज पीएचडी डी सिल्वा In hit number two, lane number one, two is KTT Damsarani, lane number three is Tiago Nosekara, lane number four is I Ashwanti, lane number five is uh, Kushali Abevikrama, lane number six is Natali Bodhi Pala, lane number seven, seven is Sara Nawaz. That's the end of heat number two, and in heat number three, lane number one is uh, Dansani Pereira, lane number two is RMM Sidangana, lane number three is uh, K Ekanayaka, lane number four is Savindi Chandrasekara, lane number five is Dineti Deumi, lane number six is A uh, Hangwell, lane number seven is Akza Izadin, and lane number eight is Mituki Vikram Singh. Heat number three of event number 173, girls under 15, 50 meter freestyle. Next is uh, uh, heat number four of uh, the seven heats. Lane number one is uh, Gitmini uh, Lienage. Lane number two is uh, Gayashi Gunasekara. Lane number three is Yanuli Bandara. Lane number four is Ritu Rodrigo. Lane number five is uh, Sara Shakir. Lane number six is Sesandi Niriel. Lane number seven is Kashi. Vigneshwaran and lane number 8 is E. Jailad. Gitmini Lienage, more of a popular name in the diving circles and the diving uh, uh, discipline. If I were to talk about the disciplines of uh, aquatic sports, she is one of those uh, junior uh, up-and-coming divers and here we see her swimming in lane number one of heat number four of event number 173 that's girls under 15 50 meter freestyle
Next is uh, uh, heat number five of event number 173. Lane number one is Indivari Vikramaratna. Lane number two is Asha Rajapaksha. Uh, lane number three is Janaya Kumaravadu. Lane number four is Julie Hope. Lane number five is uh, Danisha Ganishki. Lane number six is Shanisha Adams, lane number 7 is Mituki Kodituaku and lane number 8 is KD Soisa. Next is uh, heat number six, and in lane number one is uh, Karisa Bandaranaik, lane number two is Nisa Jabir, lane number three is uh, Netuli Fonseca, lane number four is uh, Rashmi uh, Rajaviveka, lane number five is Yunaya Pereira, lane number six is Daniela Robin, lane number yeah. seven is Malini yeah. Ambili Watt, and lane number eight is T. Chandrasekhar, sorry, T. Chandrasena. And uh, the final heat of uh, event number 173. Lane number one is SDD Palihakkara. Lane number two is uh, Vihansa Bo Pagoda. Lane number three is Sehansa Nilupul. Lane number four is uh, Vandani Fernando. Lane number five is uh, Isindi Vithulaya. Lane number six is Sanditi Ekanayaka. Lane number seven is Shyama Prasanna, lane number 8 is Umalya Gunatilaka. With the completion of heat number seven, uh, we'll mark the end of event number 173. That's girls under 15, 50 meter freestyle. Uh, next uh, in line is event number 174, boys under 17, 50 meter freestyle. In lane number one is uh, Joel Samuel. Lane number four is uh, sorry. Lane number three is Joel Samuel. Lane number four is DMM Gimhana. Lane number. 5 is MGH Isuranga and lane number 6 is D Jayasekara. Heat number 1 of event number 174, boys under 17, 50 meter freestyle.
in heat number two, lane number one is uh, Dulwan Jayaratna, lane number two is AKR Silva, lane number three is Dinet Pereira, lane number four is Ay Yusuf, lane number five is uh, Dev Dinush, lane number six is AM uh, Randunna, lane number seven is AI uh, Padma Peruma, lane number eight is Akitma Ketaka. Heat number two of event number 174, boys under 17, 50 meter freestyle. In heat number three, lane number one is uh, Vishwa Tenwara, lane number two is uh, Vehan uh, Kitnada, lane number three is MAFM Hazik, lane number four is uh, Dihen Sebastian, lane number five is RMVI Rajapaksha, uh, lane number six is uh, Nathaniel Burgess, lane number seven is MRM Raihan, and lane number eight is SSJ. Heat number three of event number 174, boys under 17, 50 meter freestyle. Next is next is uh, uh, heat number four. Lane number one is Bupesh uh, Selvanayagam. Lane number two is Angelo Navin. Lane number three is Ginura Metananda. Lane number four is Nelit Peter. Lane number five is H M Silva. Lane number six is uh, V S Silva Pulle. Lane number seven is Caden uh, Herft. Lane number eight is Vihanga Pereira. Heat number four of event number 174. Boys under 17, 50 meter freestyle. And uh, in heat number five, lane number one is Akain Samrasinghe, lane number two is uh, Malik Tambidore, lane number three is uh, GIT Evin, lane number four is uh, Setruka Silva, lane number five is uh, Mohammed Atik, lane number six is Vinul Senanayak, uh, lane number seven is Dinuga Lianagi, and lane number eight is LAJ Edir Singha. Heat number five off. Yeah. Event number 174. Boys under 17, 50 meter freestyle. In hit number six, lane number one is Nigel Fernando, lane number two is Romal Patirana, lane number three is uh, Tarusha Pereza, uh, lane number four is Shawan Abe Singer, lane number 
five is Yashit Vijay Sundar. Uh, lane number six is uh, Pasan Nivisar. Lane number seven is KVS Fernando. And lane number eight is Seth Sethindu Dinuka. Heat number six of event number 174. Boys under 17, 15 meter freestyle. In the final heat, final and seventh and final heat of event number 174, boys under 17, 15 meter freestyle. Lane number one is Abhiman Pereira, lane number two is three, uh, Shashi Garan, lane number three is Umar Farooq, lane number four is uh, Yonal Di Silva, lane number five is TV Kakunawala, lane number six is Vihanga Kaldera, and lane number seven is Pahan Anusara, and lane number eight is Dulanka Patirana. Next is event number 175, girls under 17, 50 meter freestyle. In heat number one, lane number three is uh, Lucky Vijay Singer, uh, lane number four is N. Ratnayaka, and lane number five, Kalashi uh, Ranabahu. In heat number two, lane number two is uh, SWC uh, Vikram Singh, lane number three is uh, Atifa Azmi, lane number four is uh, BVS uh, Metaki, uh, lane number five is uh, Jerusha Pereira, lane number six is uh, Ruvi Livera, and lane number seven is Imandi Mahavat. Heat number two of event number 175, girls under 17, 50 meter freestyle. In hit number three, lane number one is uh, Duneli Senaratna, lane number two is uh, Anulya De Silva, lane number three is uh, Shanela Pereira, lane number four is Anutmi Vitanagi, lane number five is Ruansi De Silva, lane number six is S. Arjuna, lane number seven is uh, Netmi Agalavat, and lane number eight is Yomali Soisa.
Heat number three of event number 175, girls under 17, 50 meter freestyle. Next is uh, heat number four of event number 175. Lane number one is uh, Menadi Silva. Lane number two is uh, Yenuki Rajapaksha. Lane number three is uh, Martha Fernando. Lane number four is Natalie Outskun. Uh, lane number five is uh, Sanuji Gunatilaka. Lane number six is Senara Di Silva. Lane number seven is S. Gamage. And uh, lane number eight is Metima. Metumia Piris. Heat number four of event number 175. Girls under 17, 50 meter freestyle. Next will be heat number 5 of event number 175. Lane number 1 is Vinuki Pereira. Lane number 2 is uh, Pavina Amarasinghe. Lane number 3 is uh, Sanitya Virakodi. Lane number 4 is uh, Dilandi Piris. Lane number 5 is Taruki Kalansuriya. Lane number 6 is Gayansa Ratnayaka. Lane number 7 is uh, Rasali uh, Vidumini. And lane number 8 is uh, Turaya Kotagama. Heat number five of event number 175. As soon as we complete this heat, we'll be moving on to the sixth and final heat of event number 175. And in heat number six, lane number one is Arali Dorabavila. Lane number two is S. Jayatissa. Lane th number three is A. John Pillay. Lane number four is Chanudi Kumara Peruma. Lane number five is Rohansa Diaratna. Lane number six is Sehansa Jayasinghe. Lane number seven is uh, Teresa Adams. And lane number eight is Shanuki Jayasundara. <laughs> With the completion of heat number six will mark the end of event number 175. Yeah. Girls under 17, 50 meter freestyle.
Next is event number 176, boys under 20, 50 meter freestyle. This event tries uh, four heats. In heat number one, lane number one is Shavin Vikramaratna, lane number two is Himash Harshana, lane number three is Rinura Pereira, lane number four is Tenu Ranasinghe, lane number five is Kashyap Rana Yunna, lane number six is Pramod Udayanga, lane number seven is Akash Sarvana Kumar, and lane number eight is Anuk Maha Lekam. In heat number two of event number 176, boys under 20, 50 meter freestyle. Lane number one is Dimitri Lianage. Lane number two is Aditya Pereira. Lane number three is LSC Samarasinghe. Lane number four is GGA Ms. Gamage. Lane number five is Abdul Rahman Faham. Lane number six is Ramindu Jaisinghe. Lane number seven is MMM Akhil. And lane number eight is NM Krishna Swami. Heat number two of event number 176, boys under 20, 50 meter freestyle. <coughs> In heat number three, lane number one is uh, Tavisha Pereira, lane number two is SJ uh, Vishwadesh, lane number three is Yanul Jayasekar, lane number four is Panduka Resan, lane number five is uh, Disandu Niriyal, lane number six is uh, Himanjit, lane number seven is SN Ranavira, and lane number eight is MAM Javad. Heat number three of event number 176, boys under 20, 50 meter freestyle. Next, in heat number four, lane number one is MSM Shaif, lane number two is MMH Jayasinghe, lane number three is Nevan Senaratna, lane number four is uh, Kavisha Silva, lane number five is Chris Pavitra, uh, lane number six is NP Hansajar, lane number seven is Kavisha Tenuvar, and lane number eight is Malik Tambidore. Nevan Senaratna, Kavisha Silva and Chris Pavitra are the uh, three most highly spoken about uh, swimmers who are kept to join the elite swimmers, the freestyle swimmers like Matthew Abesinger, Kyle Abesinger and Kavindra Nugavala in the future. We'll have to wait and see when it comes to the finals time in the evening. So, with the completion of heat number four, we'll mark the end of event number 176. Next is event number 177, girls under 20, 200 meter freestyle. In heat number one, lane number two is Dinali Karnadasa, lane number three is Mevanma Rajakorna, lane number 4 is uh, Tevindi Metlini, lane number 5 is Caitlin De Silva, 
Lane number six is Nehara Mendis and lane number seven is DJ L Rat Ranatilaka. In heat number two of event number 177, girls under 20, 50 meter freestyle. Lane number one is Jayendra Pereira. Lane number two is LPD Vinodeni. Lane number three is Anika Sumanathilaka. Lane number four is Hiroki Di Silva. Lane number five is Akitmi Vasala Tantri. Lane number six is Kenuli Konar. And lane number seven is Sikandar, sorry, Sitara Zuhair. This is the uh, final uh, event of the fourth and final day of this 47th National Age Group Swimming Championships. Uh, event number 177, girls under 50, uh, sorry, girls under 20. 50 meter freestyle finals. It will. will be. Uh, going in for the luncheon break with the completion of heat number two of event number 177. And uh, we'll be bringing you the live action after lunch with the finals of the uh, heats that were worked off this morning so it, it would be and it is uh, going to be an interesting uh, second session on this fourth and final day of uh, 47th national age group uh, swimming championships uh, conducted by the Sri Lanka Aquatic Sports Union uh, so until such time we um, come back to you with the live action after lunch uh, approximately in about 40 minutes time that's at uh, 2 p.m. Uh, we'll have to say uh, goodbye here from the Sukhathasa indoor complex swimming pool uh, with the hope of bringing you the live action after the luncheon break thank you thank you very much